Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. At Primal Video, we're all about helping you create your video content more efficiently and effectively. If you're using your Android device to create your videos, then this video, we're gonna cover two pieces of Android software or Android apps that you need to look at if you're interested in editing those videos on your Android device. If you've ever actually searched the Android App Store for video editing apps, then you'll realize that there's an absolute ton to choose from. In actual fact, a lot of those apps aren't proper editing apps, and they'll just generate some sort of random video based on the app deciding what's included and what isn't. But the two apps that we're gonna look at in this video are the closest that you'll get to mimicking editing that you'd find on your normal computer. Now this video isn't gonna be a full in-depth review of these two apps. It's merely my opinion after trialing and testing so many of the apps that are available for video editing in the Android App Store. Now in an ideal situation, if you are filming on your Android device, then I would recommend that you transfer the files off your device and edit on your PC or your Mac. You're gonna have far more control and creativity. If for whatever reason you need to edit on your Android device, these are the two apps that I'd recommend because they are the closest at mimicking desktop video editing on your Android device. Now the first app that I recommend you check out is Cyberlink Power Director. Now Cyberlink has been around for years creating video editing software on Windows and now they've transferred a lot of that power and performance across into their Android app as well. From the moment you open the app, it's extremely intuitive and really easy to work out and navigate around and get your videos edited. It's extremely easy to cut, trim, to add color effects, to add voiceovers, Pretty well everything that you want to do to edit your videos can be found really simply. It would be really easy for someone even with no video editing experience to be able to create something pretty awesome in this app. This app also makes it extremely easy to really get some control over your editing and you can get right down to a frame by frame editing basis to make sure that your cuts are exactly where you want them. And then when it's time to share your video, it's just a matter of hitting that share button and choosing where you want your video to go. One of the key features that this app has that most other editing software doesn't have, especially editing apps, is the ability to have multiple video layers. So in Cyberlink Power Director, you can actually have two video layers, which opens your editing up to a huge amount of creativity and control. It also has some really powerful slow motion tools as well. Now, Cyberlink Power Director is free in the Android App Store. However, it will watermark all of your videos unless you pay for the pro version. But paying for the pro version or upgrading to the pro version is only around $5 US. So when you pay the $5 to upgrade to the pro version, not only does it remove the watermarks, which then makes your videos usable, it also gives you extra features like being able to use 1080p videos in your editing and export 1080p videos as well. So I think that's $5 that's well spent and it's not gonna break the bank. Now the second app that I feel is definitely worth checking out is KineMaster, and it's probably the most advanced editing app across any device, iOS or Android. So where KineMaster really stands out is the ability to have almost full control over everything in your editing process. Cyberlink Power Director allowed you to have two video layers, which is still two more than most other editing apps, but KineMaster allows you to have more. The audio tools are fantastic and you can adjust the audio levels on each clip individually or across an entire track. You can also easily add sound effects, add music, record voiceovers, adjust your color, adjust your effects. You really get control over everything. So by having all these advanced tools and advanced settings and options for you to play around with and tweak to really get some creative control over your editing, it does make the app less intuitive and less easy to use than the likes of PowerDirector. But in saying that, it's not hard to use once you work out where everything is. Now, the same as PowerDirector, KineMaster is free in the Android App Store. However, in order to remove the watermark, you need to pay them some money. And in this case, they've opted for a couple of different options. I can only bring up the Australian pricing here, but it's $5.22 for monthly access. It's $41.80 for an annual subscription or it's $9.50 for 30 days access to the app. Now I'm sure these pricing options are gonna turn a few people away or turn a few people off looking into using this app. But if you're creating videos and you're looking to edit on your Android device, then there really is no app that has the power that this one does. And if it's gonna allow you to create your videos faster, more effectively and have them look really good, then I feel that the $40 or thereabouts for the annual subscription is definitely worth it. 
So as I said in the beginning, this isn't an in-depth review of these two apps. These are just the two that I'd recommend after trialing and testing an absolute ton of them from the Android App Store. What I'd actually recommend that you do is to download both of them and have a play with both of them and see which one works best for you. If you're using something else to edit your videos on Android, then feel free to leave a comment below and share your experience with the rest of the Primal Video community. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a comment, or a thumbs up. If not, thumb it down, we'd like the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. We'll see you next time.